<laughs> That's you people. <laughs> I am a slender female crouched alone at a nearby bench. No, oh, you're going to get the sex scene. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, but I'm not doing sex by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Great new advance. I'm sitting down because I'm by myself. They had lines like, he hung his head, he hung his hat only a conversation piece away. He thought he would never forget that awful sight, O F F A L. He had to remember it to this day. To this so day. When I wrote a book called Howling Man, I cha I, uh, it was about a wear man, I right. named him Josh. <laughs> All right, here we go. How, how much should I hand this up? Yeah. 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 I am a slender female, crouched alone in the nearby bench. Grignard advanced, wishing to wholesomely occupy his time. Wholesomely? <laughs> <laughs> the flickering torches cast weird shafts of luminescence dancing over the half naked hazard of his choice. Grignard <laughs> <laughs> off the twines of hair, swaying gracefully. <laughs> As she raised the half great butt to her pale red lips. Glancing upward, the alluring complexion noted the stalwart giant as he rapidly approached. The faint glimmer sparked from the pair of deep blue ovals of the amorous female as she motioned toward Grigna, enticing him to join her. The barbarian seated himself and went to his side, exposing his body, naked save. For a loin cloth brandishing a long steel broadsword, a fire battle helmet, and a thick leather sandals to her unobstructed view. Baby, you want my broadsword? <laughs> Thou hast need to occupy your time, barbarian? Question the female. The question marks at the end of Yeah, it says question the female. There's a question mark. <laughs> Only if something worth offering is within my reach, stated Grigner. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I'm going to do in my permit to Only if something worth offering is <laughs> of his virile crew to take note of the superior size of his adversary. <laughs> Grignard lifted the boundary from the startled female. His face lit up to an ashen red ferocity, and eyes locked in a searing feral blaze toward the slain soldier. To hell with you, Braggard, bellowed the angered accordion as he hefted his finely honed broadsword. 
Which Labrador? He would clumsily reach towards the pummel of his dangling sword. But before his hands ever touched the tough of the oaken hilt, a silver flash was sliced in the heavy air. The fuse of the savage's lashing right arm bulged from the glistening bronze hide as his blade bit deeply into the soldier's neck, lopping off the confused head of his senseless tormentor. Loping, not lopping. Loping. No, it's lopping. No, it's lopping. L O P I N G, lopping. Loping. Loping. No, lopping. L O P I N G. Loping is two P's. Loping has two P's. Loping. L O P I N G is the same sound. Loping. 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 Okay, I thought it was locked. Okay, well that's one. With a nauseating thud, the severed oval toppled to the floor and the segregated torso of Victor's bovine antagonist. <laughs> really? <laughs> Directed toward the latter's scowling makeup. Makeup! The slut should have picked his quarry more carefully! Slut? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roared the victor in a mocking baritone growl. <laughs> his gripping blade on the prostrate form and returned it to the scabbard. Prostrate, yes. <laughs> The fool should have shown more prudence, however. You shall rue your actions while rotting in the pits, stated one of the sprawled soldier's comrades. Gregor's hand began to remove his blade from its leather housing, but retarded the motion in face of the blades waving before his face. Nice face. <laughs> Dismiss your hand from the hilt, barbarian, or you shall find a foot of steel sheathed in your gizzard. Grimnar waved his position. I'm sorry? I said, I know we have chickens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grimnar waved his, uh, his position, observing his plight. Whereupon, with a hyphen, of course, because you always thought whereupon with a hyphen, <laughs> he took the soldier's advice as the only logical choice. Grimnar is totally logical. Right? <laughs> to attempt to hack his way from his present predicament could only warrant certain death. He was of no mind to bring upon his own demise if an alternate path presented itself. The will to necessitate his life forced him to yield to the superior force in hopes of a moment of carlessness. <laughs> carlessness. Carlessness. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hey, I made my payment. It's just an amount. <laughs> Carlessness, later upon the part of his captors, in which he could effect a more plausible means of escape. So you may steady your arms. I will go without these problems. Your decision is a wise one. Yet, perhaps you would have been better off had you forced death. The soldier's mouth wrinkled to a sadistic grin of knowing <laughs> as he brought in his prisoner on with his sword point. After an indiscriminate period of marching through slinking alleyways and dim moonlighted streets, the procession confronted a massive seraglio. We S-E-R-A-G-L-I-O. He got that's how you spell it. He got seraglio right. <laughs> The palace air. I, I really can't believe that. You could have missed. Okay, fine. <laughs> the palace area. The palace area was surrounded by an iron grating, a lush garden upon all sides. The group was admitted through the gilded gateway, and Grigner was led along. One word: L E D A L O N G. Led along a stone pathway bordered by plush vegetation. That's going to be spelled the same way. As, it's going to be said the same way as he had to spell correctly. He spelled vegetation V E G I T A T I. <laughs> Lustfully enhanced by the moon's shimmering rays, upon reaching the palace, the group was granted entrance. And after several minutes of explanation, right, <laughs> several winding corridors to a richly draped chamber. Confronting the group was a short, stocky man seated upon a golden throne. Tapestries of richly draped 
regal blue silk covered all walls of the chamber, while the steps leading to the throne were plated with sparkling white ivory. The man upon the throne had a naked wench seated at each of his arms. Leona, you're up. 